Hello there, it's uh, Diorama Don here once more with another thrilling episode in diorama making. Um, this video will show you how I go about making a, a brick wall. <clears throat> I know the uh, most people today tend to use uh, styrofoam. Um, th I, this is my attempt at a brick wall in styrofoam and quite honestly I, I just I can't do it. <laughs> there are modelers on uh, YouTube videos that uh, they they're excellent. The, the brick walls look look very very real, uh, but I I just can't get on with it. I can't get on with styrofoam somehow. Uh, so call me old fashioned, uh, but I like uh, the, the the old way of doing things. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how I make individual bricks. Oh, is that going to focus? No. Anyway, that's that's how I made individual bricks uh, on the front of the on the front of the uh, House of Horrors, Ten Rillington Place. Uh, they're all individually uh, stuck on, so I think they they look pretty uh, pretty realistic. And it's okay if there's a small area. You don't want to be spending the rest of your life sticking little tiny bricks on. But at the back of the house, there was a, a, a bigger area of brick to do. Oh, that's it. Uh, so as you can see, there was a lot more bricks there. And I did say in the video that I would explain how I did that uh, brick work, which is what I'm going to do today. So let's move that out the way. And this is um, a brick wall, if you like, I've prepared. Just uh, cardboard with a couple of windows cut out. Just a, a, a sample piece, really. Um, again, in another video, I showed you how I made these uh, stones. Uh, these, when it's finished, get the right way up, will uh, go on the edge. Like so, 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 all the way up like that on both sides, just to give it uh, a nice border. Edging stones, but that is later. So for now, this is what I do. Um, it's the same principle as I did the um, cobbled street, really. Um, so I mix some uh, brick-coloured grout. Uh, so you, you're halfway there to start with because you've got the right colour. You've got the colour of brick to start with. And grout, if, if you don't know what grout is, uh, when you stick ceramic tiles in your bathroom or kitchen, uh, on the walls or on the floor, uh, you need two things. One to stick the tiles down to the ground or to the wall. And the other thing is the grout that goes in between the in between the tiles when they're when they're finished it's sort of that's why there are so many different colors to uh, for uh, for all the different colored tiles so uh, it goes in between the tiles and you normally buy it in powdered form um, a, a small bag of, of grout in powdered form is very very inexpensive from from DIY shops and, and a small bag you can make literally thousands of bricks from. So I've mixed some of that and that's now going to go onto my wall. It doesn't matter what you use, whether you use styrofoam or clay or uh, plasticine, or, or uh, this stuff. You've, you've, it's still very time consuming because you, you've still got to mark out each brick. And uh, a 135 scale brick is extremely small. So uh, whichever way, you, it's, it's very time consuming and uh, you've got to be a bit patient. That's why these plastic kits are so popular these days because it's all done for you 
uh, you've got the, the shape of the brick in the model already. All you have to do is uh, put the grout between the bricks and, uh, and paint them. But uh, is that modelling? Is that really modelling? I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's because I'm so old. This is how we used to do it in the good old days. <laughs> Makes me sound like about 200 years old. So that's what we do to start with. We need a thickness of about three millimeters of uh, grout. And I'm going to stop there because that's all right. Uh, with a damp cloth, you can uh, just level it out a bit more. <coughs> and that's it, that's all we need to do. There we go. When it dries off a little bit more, Maybe a little early to do yet, but with the uh, the rough side of a washing up sponge, uh, just to get the texture of uh, of a brick, you can uh, just dab over like so. So when we come to mark out the bricks, uh, we can mark them out, and when it dries, um, we'll have uh, textured bricks. Yeah, it's a little early yet. I'll, I'll do that a bit later when it goes off. So I'll leave that now for about half an hour. Um, and then I'll uh, mark out the uh, horizontal pieces, uh, horizontal lengths of the, of the brickwork. Uh, so uh, I'll see you in a moment. So here we are, half an hour later. And I've started putting the horizontal lines in. Um, putting the uh, support bricks over the top of the window frames as well. Um, I'll put a few, few more lines in just to show you exactly what I do. Uh, just a, a sharpened uh, barbecue stick and a steel ruler and just very lightly scribe a line into the drying grout like so about three millimeters apart something like that um, <clears throat> it will throw up sort of debris as you scribe through it but uh, when it's all dry that, that all just brushes off anyway um, and then with a watchmaker's screwdriver or any small piece of metal about three millimeters wide then you can go along and, and mark out each brick <laughs> it sounds daunting but uh, it's surprising how quickly you can you can get through so I'll finish that off uh, I'll keep doing that <clears throat> mark out the bricks and uh, and show you how I proceed from there there we go, bricks all nice and dry now and uh, they do feel like bricks to the touch, nice and dry. Uh, you can just see, I've, I've taken parts of bricks out to make it look a little more realistic and just uh, broken some of the corners off the bricks uh, again to make it more, more real. So what we need to do now is put mortar in between the bricks. So I've mixed up some grey grout. And in fact it's just starting to, to go off already so uh, I'll put this on straight away. So just rub this all over the bricks. <coughs> Are we seeing okay? There we are. There we go, that's done. 
just make sure that's all down into the into the uh, gaps between the bricks. Then we can, with the aid of a wet sponge, slowly take it off again. through already. Each pass the books get brighter. So I'll leave that to dry. Once that's dry, then we can do what we like. We can colour a few bricks, different a different colour if we want to. Or we can just leave it as it is and uh, put a, 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 a black wash over the top just to uh, age it a little bit more. So there we are, we have mortar. That shouldn't take too long to dry because uh, it's only a very thin, thin coat of uh, grout. That's about as much as it's going to come up. There we go. So we'll leave that for a little while and I'll be back. So the mortar's all dry now. Uh, painted the window frames and put the uh, uh, corner pieces on. Uh, I painted just a few of the bricks a different colour just to uh, give it a bit of variation. And the next job is uh, black wash which is just black paint and water. So we'll stick that on. Should have used a bigger brush. Maybe a bit, uh, a bit thick. Should have been a little bit thinner, maybe. Oh, you can't see. So once we've got that on, I'll do the end bricks as well. What the hay? these. There we go. And then we'll just dab some of it off. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that looks a bit dark. Because that's exactly, that's exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> All will be well, I'm sure. There we go. Should have been maybe a little bit thinner than that. I may, uh, oh it's coming through now. Move that away. Uh, so that's what we've got now. When that's dried, that will look a lot better than it does at the moment. Uh, so uh, I'll be back in uh, half an hour. I'll just go and have lunch and I'll be back and 
I'll show you uh, the finished product. So <clears throat> all finished now. Um, <laughs> if I'm honest, that black wash was a little too dark. Uh, it's made the more to go just a little darker than I would I would like. But uh, we, we we brought it back from the brink. <laughs> uh, just give it a bit of a a sanding over to bring out the tile colour, and then uh, a bit of a a white um, brushing over the top. Uh, so if you look very close, uh, that's not too bad at all. But it's just cardboard and grout, that's all. Don't need, well I don't like styrofoam. Um, I think this gives, well the, 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 the feeling of it is, is right because it feels like brick. Um, there's a lot you can do to it now with more colouring and, and more texturing, more uh, uh, light brushing over the top. You could make it older, um, a little bit of uh, a broken plaster maybe in the corner. So uh, it, it's the basic, the basis of a, of a decent brick wall. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. That's okay. So that's how I do my brick walls, or one of the ways anyway. Uh, if you can imagine sticking each of these bricks on individually, you, you can appreciate how, how long that would take to do. Uh, so this is a, a, a quicker way of doing things. Uh, admittedly, you have to wait for things to dry, but um, hey, that's modelling. You have to wait for these things. So thank you for watching, and uh, please leave any comments below if you have any. Uh, please subscribe. I need a few more subscribers and uh, I'll be with you uh, in the next video. So uh, until then, happy modelling.